It throws back our work. It throws back our work, and I wish to make Mr. Chairman to make a very good ruling to this person, but by knowing why he is not here and why he is not appearing. Where is he? Or you direct him to appear? Because these issues are his. Uh, what can you explain? Appear. It shows back our work. It shows back our work. And I would wish to make Mr. Chairman to make a very good ruling to this person. But by knowing why he is not here and why he is not appearing, where is he? Or you direct him to appear? Because these issues are his. Uh, what can you explain? And the point raised by a honorable uh, member of this committee, I tender the apologies of the Permanent Secretary of Secretary of Judiciary, Dr. Ramadan Gobi. He has been asked to accompany the former Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development to yet another high organization meeting with the European Union um, in Nyonyo. He therefore asked me to lead the team for this very important meeting, the Public Accounts Committee. Well aware that, one, he formally submitted the responses to the club about one week ago, containing his written responses to the very important issues raised in the Nemo's report as well as the Public Accounts Committee, and for which he entrusted me to lead the team and be able to guide through. We shall definitely be able to deliver on that commitment that we take the committee very seriously and its work and its recommendations, and we shall, as usual, be able to use those recommendations for the public finance management reforms as has always been the case. There is certainly no major gap in substance, but he apologizes for not being able to be <coughs> And he has always been uh, coming to attend quite a number of meetings. Mr. Chairman, I pray that he tend as a reference to you as chair. Because he must have written to you officially and the clerk this committee. Because uh, I, I, I know we, we have a lot of work. Yes. Can, can you ask the clerk in a letter? Yeah, does he have three Mr. Chair? Ask the clerk there. I have, to, I have to ask three, Mr. Chair. You ask the clerk. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Clark, yeah. Mr. Clark, yeah. do you have any communication from the PSSD writing to you that is not going to get a PRC with a team? And he telling us that he has gone with another minute with the minister because he has a higher meeting, higher, better than ours which is handling accounts and performance of finance is not so let him answer. Chair, before, before the clerk answers, Chair, we was according to our program, we were supposed to begin with the Ministry of Finance. Sometime back we had to, to postpone our programs for two consecutive, actually three consecutive times. Your boss giving an excuse that he's not around. We thought he intended to appear himself. Because I want to ask, did he mean that you could not represent him by then? Was the team not there by then? Reason, Chair, as to why we are raising this is because finance has made us lag behind our schedule. We had to waste the whole week because we had scheduled you and we could not fix in any other agents within the, that very period. Could you explain? Did he intend to appear in person that by then you could not represent him? What had happened? Uh, it's true, but the Honorable. It was good to answer, Mr. Chair. No, I wanted to. No, Chair, that's the Chair, and this is the right thing. Let me clear up with the Chair. Well, Chair, my members, I have not received any letter. Okay. I'm doing that with the apology. He was ready, actually, to come this morning. The fixture came just as about to about come. He was prepared to come this morning and appear in the first place. Uh, but Mr. Chairman, let me, as the Vice Chair has told you, actually this date was fixed by him. Yes. This date was a result of, of accommodating your busy schedule. And we have done so. When he was in Paris, he asked us to do the same, we were paid. The other time he came, he wrote a letter saying you are going for some conference on. Uh, 
resource envelope, yeah. any treats on the resource envelope, we postponed. We, we actually lost two weeks because we, had, we wanted to deal with you first. We lost two weeks because of your visa schedule. And he said, I want to be there myself. And he chose a day where he was so sure a high level meeting with the European Union cannot be an abrupt meeting. It must have been on schedule. It's not an abrupt meeting. Mr. Chairman, I want to give you information. But let's first ask a few things first. One, we are going to look at Minister of Today, we want to look at consolidated accounts. Who is the accounting officer? Who is the accounting officer? For the consolidated fund is PSST. Are you, are, you, are you an accounting officer? Because, because this question is personal to all That's not a very accountability. Eh? It's personal. And if there, there were things where it's held personally, like. Now, we are going to look at treasury operations. Who is the accounting officer? Accountant We are not intended to look at, did we? We are not intended to look at, at finance as the Ministry 408. It was not for today. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. And I've seen the accounting office of Ministry of Finance Capital. Now, I don't think we can go ahead. Mr. Chairman, first of all, why did you they, why did he delegate you to go with the minister and they get you in here? Secondly, Mr. Chairman, for me I will be open on this and I will not be fair again the thing. The honor the gentleman we are talking about is very difficult to be brought here. Where he was seated was Matia Kasai, the Committee of Education. He ran at him from there and refused to come. We had to use someone on him. And this is a continuing practice. Mr. Chairman, this committee is handling this matter once. You have, we have two and a half years, finance may pay, appear here twice at the end of that, uh, uh, those two years and a half. We cannot proceed. No, you and, can't say that. You and I, I, I am moving, I'm suggesting, Mr. Chairman, without the PSST proceeding with this committee, already your question there, Treasury accounts. If we can delegate himself, he delegates him to come to the committee, but he goes to the minister. Who ran him when I was here? Matia Kasaidia. And he refused to appear. It's not proper. And he takes this committee of parliament for a right. But therefore, me, I don't fear anything. I am open to what I'm saying. He doesn't respect committees of parliament. If you change your schedule thrice as the vice has stayed, and you don't appear on the day you give, but you tell us that he has changed in the morning. In the morning! And he, we, we sit here with my tired suit. You think I would accept that? If I know just delegating, but not even having the courtesy of writing the leadership of the committee about the changes. Colleagues, it's not that we are hard on you, but you've been so unfair to the committee. With the guests, with, with our guests, you've been so unfair to us. I mean, it's all the excuses you gave. Even members came here one time. It was around, it was, I don't remember the date exactly, and they had to go back, they bounced, because you informed us about your non-appearance in the morning. Now here, Mr. Gobi disappears, sends another person, without even informing the leadership of the committee about his non-presence in this committee. Chair, the Minister of Finance is so unfair to us. They have taken the committee for granted severally. I, 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 I think for us to proceed, you need to get an explanation. He needs to communicate officially the reason as to why he fails to appear for such an important committee we are talking about operations of the treasury where he's supposed to appear and i mean make a comment as to why we 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 we, we things are happening the way they are in line of accountability this is not a committee but you can take for granted so chair i, I uh, we don't need to deliver that much one the accounting officer is personal life in, if, if the work and you cannot take on a personal ability yeah. eh, of an accounting officer. So we will not consider consolidated account when he is not present. And we are considering it today. 
don't know whether the meeting will last a whole day. Good enough, because I'm not prepared to lose more time. Good enough, we have treasure operation, where the officer, accounting officer, is present. We did not, on our plan, we thought we were about to have a very, very elaborate discussion on treasure operations and on consolidated accounts. Because they are, they are issues that we really need to sort out as a country. And it's a smooth flow. It would have been to start with the consolidated accounts and then we flow to treasury operations. Because somehow they overlap in so many aspects. And when you look at the issues we deal with, be as it may, I don't have the right side as, as you are aware, the law requires us to approve this report by 31st, 30th of June. We lose time one month for budget processing. We lost a bit of a month for budget framework paper. We were to suspend, suspect to suspend this, these committees for rationalization, which still your ministry has messed up. And we lost two weeks during the rationalization, for which your ministry has totally bungled down. And I think Parliament is at a standstill on rationalization. So, and how many cases do we have? 504. I have to look at 504 reports and reports by June. I've only looked at, we have only looked at, at five so far. I, these members, I hold them here on Monday, on Friday, late hours of the night, of the day, and they, they, they arrive here today, every day, we have meetings starting from seven. So this is my ruling. This is my ruling, Mr. Chenab, my friend. But I need to proceed. Yes, yes, but your members are raising some pertinent issues. Okay, you're in such a I, I, I pray and I beseech you that you first ask this person to go out and have an in house. I know. Yes. If it pleases. Because. No, sir. As Honorable Sir, let the Honorable Sir have got to perform. It is. It is 11. We've lost an hour. We are going to deal with the treasury operations. In the meantime, liaise with the Secretary for Treasury to appear here. I think it will take us two hours to deal with the treasury operations, or one and a half. Within that one and a half, we should appear here. I don't want to use the other provision huh, of someone in him and uh, the, because this power is powers of the High Court. This committee. Nothing. And I don't want to use it right now. I'm giving him a benefit of doubt that as we deal with the treasury operations, he appears here by by half past midday. I think it is a quick time. Most of the chair. So we are 